good evening or good night it's 38 30 right so it's already good night <laughs> how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing well and it's me again so just you know wanted to share a little testimony all for honor and glory of the lord my lord jesus christ um so last night i was starting to worry you know i started to worry because i only had a little bit of gas for work and i get paid bi-weekly praise the lord I got a job so I mean my funds are low <laughs> and it, it goes about that time when right when I'm gonna get paid that I run low on gas and I'm like oh lord what am I gonna do you know how am I gonna do it? and I start worrying you know sometimes I wear it a day before and I said oh what am I gonna do and it's like a sweet whisper to my heart the Lord's telling me you know don't worry about anything you know he's in control and um, don't we all have that tendency of worrying you know I'm a worry word but uh, the Lord's teaching me to walk in faith and praise the Lord I mean if we haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ if you haven't if you have not repented and given your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ you ought to you ought to because walking with him is the most beautiful experience that you'll ever have knowing that you don't walk alone in this world that there is a higher there's higher power I mean the Lord Jesus Christ he's so wonderful so merciful he takes care he, when I tell you that he takes care of his own he does he does you know his word says that he'll never leave that he'll never forsake the 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 fatherless, the orphans, or the widows. And man, he takes care of me. I'm just so thankful. I mean, here I am, you know, crying out to the Lord and talking to him and saying, Lord, you know, my father, I, I just, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll be able to make it there to work, but I don't know if I'll be able to come make it all the way back. And here I am trying to borrow some money, and then I shake. And... I had extra twenty dollars in there and I'm like wait what and it had been deposited since Wednesday and see the Lord for knows he for knew well, I don't know how to say it <laughs> he knew he knew that I was gonna run out of gas he knew there is nothing nothing that bypasses him there is nothing that he's not in control of there is nothing that we nothing comes as a surprise to him he knows it all and he sees it all and I praise his holy name because he's so good to me I'm just so thankful I mean so at any rate I was crying out there to the Lord and saying Lord I don't know how I'm gonna make it but Lord I just in the midst of me worrying about all this Lord help me Lord to help me to know that you're still in control Lord and just not that I said just Lord I said I just want to praise your name because you're you are far more powerful than I I than I can ever think and I just started praising him and that's the kind of attitude. If you're a child of God, that's the kind of attitude we need to have. Praise Him in the midst of whatever it is that we're going through. Praise His holy name because He's good. He is so good. And sometimes I just kind of question myself. I say, Lord, you know, who am I? Who am I that you have mercy on me? Who am I? I'm just, I'm just a nobody talking about somebody. That said, that said, that those that come to him in no way will he cast them out by his grace and mercy that a person is saved, not of works, truly not of works. And that's very humbling. That is very humbling for anybody, for anybody. You know, he's been so good to me and it doesn't discourage me anyone saying negative things about oh she's always saying how thankful well you know what I am and there's no words there's no words that I can express to know that he loved me with an everlasting love that he saw he for he saw the rotten sinner that I was and he still shed his precious blood and it is enough it is enough to cover my sins to know that I can come before him to know that I can come before my father and say Lord I need your help Lord I depend on you I need you for every little thing 
for any little it looks like a little detail but it's not it truly isn't and that really does humble me I'm just so very thankful you know I had some tiny little glasses that I could barely see from such certain distance and I got this this other glasses they're new to me <laughs> so I'm thankful for that too and uh, just the Lord's been good and I just wanted to share that testimony and tell you that you know sometimes we need to stop and just praise the Lord stop worrying about so many things and just thank the Lord if you're a child of God I'm telling you just thank the Lord for all the good things and for all the bad things that we go through because you know what a lot of the times it's for our own good it is you might not see it that way right now and you might say well it's easier for her to say you know what I struggle every day I do I struggle I'm always fighting I'm always fighting with time I feel like oh I can't do this and, and I'm always I'm for all of you that know me knew that I've been in, in Avenal for the longest time it's a small little town for me to come to a big town I hardly even drove okay back and forth here and there it's like I was just thrown out here in the city and the big city and just all kinds of crazy people driving around and by God's grace and mercy and don't think that I, those things go unnoticed with me I see that and I see God's hand in my life and I can't stop praising him he is worthy of my praise you know he's been so good and so I just wanted to share that because there's nothing but gratitude just gratitude in my heart because he's so good and I don't know how a lot of people you know don't want to know about the Lord you know a lot of people reject them but let me tell you they will be hell, hell or pay hell and heaven are real and the Lord gives so many opportunities you know he gives so many opportunities and he made us beings that we have that that um, that choice he just didn't make he didn't make any robots you know he made he gave us a choice you know and like I said you know those that come to him in no way will he cast them out and praise the Lord he says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved and that is beautiful to me to know to know that I know that I'm his child and know that he'll never leave me nor forsake it, forsake me and even in the in the midst of whatever I'm going through I've learned and he's I mean that's not that I've learned he's taught me you know how to just you know walk in faith and trust him that he's gonna see me that he's gonna he's in control of it all and he's gonna see me through you know and I mean I remember this morning this afternoon actually I said Lord I want to come home with the full tank And I came home with the full tank. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If that doesn't touch anybody, I mean, just, it seems like it's a small thing. It's not. It's not. I mean, I came home and I'm looking at my gas tank. You know, when I left, it was almost on empty. And I come home, it's an, it's an F, you know, full. So all honor and glory to the Lord it just it does really does humble me and you know I've learned not to not care about what a lot of people say you know about just a lot of things you know I'm learning I care more what my Lord has to say about me I want to be pleasing to him and I want to tell you that God is good no idols no nothing can save you but only through the blood of Jesus Christ that came and shed his precious blood for all humanity for God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him I was a whosoever that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life I hope that this this message really um, minister to you and I know 
just when I think of God's goodness and grace, I mean, it does humble me, you know. I'm just nothing but grateful to the Lord. And I don't care to pour out my heart and say, you know, the good things that the Lord has done for me because, you know what, I'm not ashamed of that. I'm thankful. I want people to know that Jesus loves you, that he shed his precious blood for you. And that your sins are not too big for the Lord to save you. That you're not you're not beyond saving. That God's blood is sufficient. It's enough. So praise the Lord for that. 